Hi. You know how you find those amazing teaching resources online? It's beautiful, well made, and then when you want to build your lesson, you find that it just doesn't do exactly what you want. So what if I can teach you a new tool that you can learn within six weeks to do stuff like this? Wouldn't that be amazing? I'm going to do this for you quickly so that you can see how it's done. And as I mentioned, you can learn to do this within six weeks. Set yourself this challenge. Take three months to do it. You don't have to do it in six weeks. In 2019, you can have a brand new skill to build lessons with that will amaze other teachers and pupils alike. So I'm going to start with a brand new file. In my brand new file, I have this cube. I'm going to start off by collapsing the cube. Now I'm going to delete some of the sides of this pyramid. Now I've got the triangle side of the pyramid. I can duplicate it and move it around as I want. So basically I'm ready to animate it. What I'm going to do is duplicate this four times. And I'm going to turn it through 90 degrees. So think about doing this live in class. Wouldn't that be amazing? Through 90 degrees, three times, and now I have my pyramid again. Look at that. But all four sides are separate. Now for the animation part. I'm going to start doing the animation at frame 30. I'm going to lock all of them down on frame 30. Then a couple of frames later, I'm going to put them in their new positions. Put that over there, that guy over there, let's rotate this guy, bring him down here, move those two out, right? Now I'm going to lock them down in that position. Let's have a look. So we start over here, and I just lock them in, into position. Software does the animation for me. But I don't want this top triangle, I don't want that guy going through the others. So all I'm going to do over here is I'm going to move him out so that he doesn't intersect with the other ones. Lock him over there. So now we've got him going up and again he intersects. So we just move him out again. There we go. Lock him in place there and the software does it for me. There we go. Now if I look at it from the side you'll see the triangles are still standing up. So all I have to do is to select them and rotate them until they're flat. Look at that. So I'm going to lock them in place there. And we can start with a pyramid. You can look around this pyramid. This is a 3D object. And I'm going to split them apart and they're going to lie face down. You can look at it from any angle to cover the explanation as well as you want. And if you want a little 90 degree sign to come in, let's build that quickly. Plane, bring that in. Do a bit of a cut on there and extrude it to that side. So there I've got my little 90 degree sign and you can put this on any which way you want. If you want it that way, just turn it that way. I like it the other way. So here we go. And I can position it there at that point, lock it in place. And before that time, I can actually get it off screen so that it's not visible. And lock it in place off screen. So the pyramid tears itself apart, goes to lie flat, and while it's doing that, the little 90 degree signal comes in. So that's an example of how to enhance your teaching explanations with an animated diagram, and it can take you less than three or five minutes to build. Go to blenderschool.com if you're interested. I recorded and loaded seven free videos on the Blender School pre-course to this Introduction to Animation course. Have a look at that, and if you're interested, contact me. Cheers.